My name's Noel, I'm a psychotherapist. Welcome to um, my blog. Um, this one's on anxiety. Uh, I hope you find it useful. I'm going to sort of talk you through what anxiety is, um, when it's become a problem, and what you can do about it. Um, if you find it useful, or if you don't find it useful, I'd like to get your feedback so that I can improve um, these videos to you. Um, so do leave comments at the end. If you're watching this on the YouTube um, channel, that's fine, just at the bottom of the video, or if you're watching this on the website, then uh, underneath the text, um, you can enter in comments uh, and details. Um, and if you'd like to be included on the blog email list, just let me know, put that on the website, um, or just email me, info at normcdermot.net, and I'll add you to the list. So you get these without effort. Uh, let's jump right in then. What is anxiety? Anxiety is uh, part of an old system in our brain, which is very useful for saving our lives. That's really where it comes from. Uh, we have this thing called fight, flight, freeze, um, which comes from a bit of the brain called the amygdala, which is our threat detection system uh, when our life is at threat. Um, it's an ancient system in our brain, um, developed very early on when we started going around in groups to help us identify threats to our life and respond to them. So fight, flight, freeze, what does that mean? So uh, we have learned over hundreds of thousands of years, it's encoded in our uh, sort of brain now, that the best ways to deal with a threat to ourselves are to fight it, so to fight it off, to run away from it and hide as fast as possible, or to freeze. Freeze is because most predators that you come across, their eyes are designed to see movement. So if you stand very still, they can't see you. Um, you can test this with your cat. If you have a cat at home and you waggle your fingers, their head will immediately move to them in that way. But if you just hold your hand very still, they don't even notice it. So fight, flight, freeze is designed to save, save our lives. So anxiety, feeling of fear that something bad might happen, is uh, our spider sense, if you like. It tells us something is wrong. Um, the problem in modern life is that it's activated too much um, and we need to, we become overstimulated, if you like. Or maybe certain things have happened to you, certain traumatic things have happened to you that have left you in a heightened state of fear. Um, <clears throat> so we have to notice when that anxiety is no longer working for us but working against us so what sort of symptoms might there be to suggest that you need help that your anxiety has gone too far well um, you may be always feeling on edge and uh, may feel that you shy away from any situation that causes any sort of anxiety or fear or excitement and you become phobic about going out uh, maybe you can't leave the house because you can't face what are the uh, fears inside your mind you're, you're imagining certain things are going to happen to you or that people are going to get you um, you can't voice your opinions in your relationships because you're extremely anxious not necessarily because the people you're relating to are bad for you, but you found that you can't express yourself anymore because your your voice is choked, almost sometimes quite physically, literally choked, and you can't get the words out for fear of repercussion. Um, you experience physical sensations of anxiety that we call anxiety attacks or panic attacks. So um, breathing very quickly, uh, racing heartbeat, inability to relax, uh, racing thoughts. So you, your mind is racing over and over and over and over again about catastrophic things. Um, you, you have cold and hot flushes, so your, your temperature changes. You may get nausea and feel ill a lot. All of these are signs that uh, you're having um, a, a physical anxiety attack. Um, you may have developed phobias, for example, about certain things, flying, spiders, etc. Uh, these are signs that your anxiety is uh, out of control. You can't stop worrying. <clears throat> Maybe you're fixed on one thing obsessively or there's so many things that you're worrying about. Everything seems to be crowding in and you just can't seem to quiet that mind. Um, you avoid eye contact. These are safety um, behaviours, we call them. You avoid eye contact or physical contact in public spaces. You shun people. Um, you keep your head down as you're walking down the street. Uh, you may only go out at certain times. You may become highly ritualistic in the way that you do things. You can only leave the house if you have six or seven things that you do first, for example. Um, they, again, these are signs of that you're trying to cope with a sense of overwhelm from fear, anxiety. Um, you catastrophize. You make things um, 
very big, even if they're very small. So the smallest problem becomes a huge problem in your mind um, and you overreact to them, which in itself creates a problem. If you do that at work, for example, you get a bad reputation. Um, You avoid risks. um, And if you're avoiding risk, you're avoiding life because life involves risk. The trick of life is risk management, not risk avoidance. So those are a few uh, thoughts. I've rattled on through them very quickly. I'm trying to make this video short. I've been told to keep them short. Um, You'll see the full list of them underneath the video, so please um, do have a read of them. Um, So these are some of the signs that uh, you might need help. Okay, so what can you do about it? Um, Okay, Uh, if you're experiencing some of these signs, you can start with understanding what they are. Start with what we call acceptance. This is what I've got. It's not something else. There isn't a real threat. I accept that I am highly triggered and I am anxious. So understanding the nature of the problem is the first step towards um, doing something about that problem. Become mindful uh, and develop a meditation practice. These are really going to help you. And these are really um, positive, quick wins that you can get virtually for nothing. You can learn mindfulness online, for example. Mindful ways of thinking give, allow you to notice what you're thinking, notice what you're feeling without attaching an emotional significance to it. Uh, you, once you do that, once you adopt what we call the observer position, you can then make decisions about what you do about that. Um, make sure you eat. It sounds like a very obvious piece of advice, but that nausea thing I said, uh, anxiety will mess with your digestive system. I'm not going to go into why, but there are uh, reasons why. It switches the digestive system on and off, which messes up your appetite. So if you can eat regularly and healthily, um, you challenge that uh, physiological response. Um, Get into nature, absolutely get into nature for all sorts of problems it's a wonderful cure so get outside as much as possible if you exercise which is very good for managing anxiety as well try exercising outside in your local park Uh, go climb a mountain that's always a great idea if you happen to have one nearby that is um join groups uh, of people who are working on similar types of issues um a a problem shared is a problem hard very often and you get very practical tips on how other people are managing um go and see a specialist uh, therapist somebody like myself who specializes in anxiety type disorders um the, the the gold standard really of anxiety treatment is cognitive behavioral therapy but there are other therapies involved as well but uh, i would start there with your therapist give that a go um it works for most people it works very quickly for most people um you could also do some of that yourself there are various workbooks that you can get mind over mood is a, a very good workbook that you can get hold of um and practice self-care so look after yourself Um, Make sure that you give yourself time out, you go and have some treats, you get a massage, you eat well, as much as possible you sleep well, you learn to relax, etc, etc. Do the sort of things that you enjoy doing. Make sure you do the basics of your self-care as well. You know, brush your teeth, wash, all of that sort of stuff. Don't let that go. These are all great things for improving self-esteem and allowing, uh, increasing our capacity to take positive actions. Um... Experience anxiety can be uh, very scary, um, but you have to know it's one of the most common mental health problems that we have. um, And we have lots of really amazing ways of helping you to get over feeling stressed out and anxious. Um, If you're worried about your anxiety, do drop me a line, info at noelmcdermott.net or call me um, 07506. 319745. Be happy to have a short chat with you um, and maybe arrange an assessment session. Uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching. I hope the video is useful. Do let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you again another time. Bye bye.